the, oh my gosh, the reticle is still there. All right. What's up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Hugh channel. In today's video, we're going over Olight's new red dot called the Osite. And it's right here. Let's get into it. I want to preface this video with uh, Olight is not paying me to make this video. So I'm not getting paid by Olight, but they did provide this red dot for free. The Osite does come with this giant garage. If it's going to last 50,000 hours plus, do I really need this? I mean, I don't really know, but I do like the idea of cover or battery hood and just put it on my optic without taking the optic out or taking a battery off the optic. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I got to give it to Olight. Pretty genius there. Olight did invite me to the Olight event during NRA week. And so I went and I asked them, hey, are you going to have a fully enclosed emitter red dot site very soon? And they said, that is the plan, it's in the works. And so I'm glad that at least that's happening. But all that being said, let's go shoot some steel and just see if it holds zero. So today I'm shooting a Glock 19 Gen 5. Got the O site on here using 115 grain nine millimeter. All right, here we go. Our steel target is approximately, I would say 20 yards from here. So let's see uh, if this holds zero. Now the brightness is all the way up. I will say that reticle is is somewhat crispy and bright and red. I mean, yeah, let's see. Okay. Now, the first magazine there, 16 rounds, and that red dot is still good to go. Uh, a lot of people were saying that when they were shooting their first mag, or the first shots, like the red dot was just all over the place, or it just wasn't there and it was going in and out. But for me right now, that red dot is pretty bright and pretty clear and I can see it. Let me reload and uh, get another mag through this. But yeah, so far it's, I mean, it's there. <laughs> so I don't really know what the issue is. Maybe just because people don't like Olight, I don't really know. And I saw another YouTuber do this is, I think he grabbed a mag and just, did this to it. Just hit it. Okay. I mean, I'm hitting it. Let's see. Red dot's still there. Okay, maybe not enough. Oh, my rounds are flying. Let's see, still there. Here's the Glock, here's the O site, and okay, now we're gonna try it over here on the table. As you saw there, I racked it on the bed of my truck and the table. Got a few rounds left and let's rack and see if that reticle is still there and uh, functioning. Okay, the reticle is still, oh my gosh, the reticle is still there. All right. I honestly, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I thought racking it, I mean, pretty harshly on the bed and also the table would move the optic. I, I'm kind of speechless because again, in all the videos I've seen, the red dot has moved. Now I did just run over the O site with my truck a few times. Now let's see if it holds zero. And if it's still there, let's find out. Red dot still there, still in focus, has not moved. Strong, bright reticle, crazy. Honestly, just wild right now. I'm blown away, honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just truly blown away by the O site. Maybe I expect it to be bad, but maybe I got a bad one and I don't know. Crazy, so far this is wild to me. I mean, it, it honestly might be a fluke of a red dot that I got or something, but I don't know, it's, yeah, I mean it. 
it's working. I mean, this wreck, <laughs> I did not think this was gonna happen. Honestly, I thought the O site was going to crash out and glitch on me in the first few shots, but it's been more than a good number of magazines through this and the O site is still functioning. I don't know, I mean, I'm kind of speechless right now. Uh, if you're like commenting some hate comment about like what I'm not doing to it or should do to it, I'm only running it how I would any other gun or sight that I have tested on this channel. I would carry it just like this. I would never bang it with another magazine, but that was just to show that it's still zeroed. It's still there and it's still bright. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, I just want to reiterate, I was not paid by Olight to make this video, but dang. I'm I'm very impressed by this O site. Now, <laughs> should you spend the money and get this for yourself? That's a good question. Uh, based on all the other videos, you probably would say no. Based on my video, I mean, it might be it might be good just to test out for yourself. It might be good to put on the range gun for practice, just to you know dink around with. I, to be totally honest, I think I'm going to keep it on this Glock 19 and put more rounds through it. This O sight is working and I mean, yeah, it's a little scuffed up here and there from me beating it with a magazine, but overall, like for it being a reflex sight, that red dot's still crispy, it's still there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it is so wild to me that people were just trashing this thing and maybe I got a fluke. Maybe I got like one of those weird ones where it actually works. All right, brightness is all the way up. I feel like the brightness could be a little bit better in terms of uh, brightness of the reticle. But I mean, it's yeah, it's a pretty basic red dot. I mean, another magazine there, pretty much all on point. I'm going a little fast because I mean, it is, oh, it's starting to clear up a little bit. Don't want to get caught in the rain, but I don't know, it, 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 I mean, I don't know, you guys saw it there. I'm telling you right now, the red dot is still in the middle. It's still on target. So let's put another magazine through it. <laughs> oh man, if only Olight would have come out with a fully uh, enclosed red dot, like I, I think people would have been more open to trying it out. Okay, third mag, let's see on the, <laughs> Glock 19 with the O site. Oh man, so far so good. Still in the middle, still bright and still red. Okay, third mag was a breeze. Still bright, still red and still there. I don't know you guys like, I, I'm gonna put one more mag to see if it's just all a fluke, but so far, I mean, it's been running pretty flawlessly. So, all right, here we go. Another magazine through this with the O site. Here we go. I'm gonna say it again, the reticle's still there, it's still bright, and it has not disappeared like other people have said. I've heard other people say that uh, when they keep shooting it, the reticle disappears, it's not there, but as you guys seen, I've put a number of magazines through this, and the force and the recoil of, of the gas and the gun are not moving this reticle, and just for giggles, I'm gonna put another magazine through this thing. But I'm literally telling you right here, right now, my experience with the cell site. I don't really know what to tell you guys other than this red dot is, is on point. It's literally, it's still there, it's bright, it's red. It's not disappeared, it's not going in and out, it's not glitching. You saw it right here, I'm putting all these rounds through it. The recoil is not, you know, reducing the reticle, the brightness, it's not moving it around. 
You guys hear the ding, obviously. It is 20 yards away. <laughs> ah, yeah, wow. That is actually quite impressive. And what I do like so far about the O site is the large field of view that I have on the red dot. I hate to tell you, but it's actually working. I, I hate to burst your bubble, guys, but like I said, I'm not getting paid by Olight by any means. This is just a free red dot. And so far, it's working. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today, guys. Uh, that's all I can say. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. Dang, I am very, very, very impressed. Wow. Wow, 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 wow.